So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to uh, make box and vista plot uh, for two data sets and then how to compare the box and vista plot and make comics. Okay, so let's read the question. The data alongside relates to the maximum daily temperature in degree centigrade in January in two cities A and B. So this is the data. They've given you all the, this is called the summary statistics. You got mean, median, maximum, minimum, lower quartile and upper quartile. Hopefully you know how to find these statistics. So I'm not going into the computation of these statistics. Uh, we're interested in drawing the box and whisker and then compare the uh, compare the, uh, the statistics. Now, sec so second question is comment on the statement city A is hotter than city B in January. Okay, so that's after we draw the box and whisker. Now, a box and whisker box. Okay, so let me so show you the. This is what I've drawn. So I can see. Uh, to before you start the box and whisker plot. You should decide what's the minimum value. The minimum value is 12 that's in city, city A, and the maximum is 28 that's also in city A. So you can have a scale uh, between 0 to, I've taken a scale, I've drawn a number line between 0 to 30. Uh, I should write here underneath uh, temperature. This is a temp, this let me scroll this down. This number line represents what? The temperature. Uh, temperature. 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 In degrees centigrade. So this is the scale between 0 to 30. So let me explain. So this is the box and whisker. So this is called the whisker. There are two whiskers, and this is the box. And that's why it's called box and whisker. So let me explain the box. Box is more important. Uh, this is the median. So the box represents the low. This is the lower quartile. This is the upper quartile, and this is the median. So let's look at. So for city A, the median is 22. Okay, the lower quartile is 17, and upper quartile is 24. The minimum is 12 and the maximum is 28. Okay, so this is simple drawing box and whisker. Okay, for city B, let's confirm your median is 21, your uh, lower quartile is 18, upper quartile is 22. So this is very interesting here. And your minimum, where is your minimum? So minimum, yeah, minimum is 15 and maximum is 26. Okay, so we have drawn the box and whisker. Now the most interesting thing that when you're comparing box and whisker, you have to, uh, okay, now what the median you should be knowing, 50% of your data is less than median and 50% is more than median. So what median does is, median splits your data into two equal parts. That's what it's meant for. Now the quartiles, this is called the lower quartile. This is called, uh, or this is also called the first quartile. Uh, this is the second quartile and this is the third quartile. Okay. So box and whisker plot, basically what it does is, is it splits the data into four parts. So this much part, let me uh, use a different color. This much part or between the low, lowest value or between minimum and lower quartile, you have 25%. Okay. And this is uh, the lowest value and this is the lower quartile. Or this is the minimum and lower quartile. This is 25%. Between the lower quartile and median, you have 25%. This also is 25%. And this is also 25%. So basically, uh, box and whisker plot uh, splits the data into four parts. So I can say that 25% 25 of your values uh, is more for city B is more than 22. So let's 
now compare uh, the data. So what is interesting here? So this is an interesting fact that the upper quartile of city B is equal to the median of city A. That's a very interesting fact. So what statement can we make? So we can say, well, the median, this is 50%, more than a median is 50%. So we can say that 50% of temperature of city B is more than 25% of uh, city B. Okay, so let me, uh, I have written the statement so that I don't waste time. Okay, so the first thing is, the median of city A is equal to, the median of city A is equal to the upper quartile of city B, that is 22 degrees. This means, what does this mean? 50% of city A, 50% of city A's temperature is more than 75% of city B's. Now, this is, this is basically 25%, but here, if, if this is 25%, this is, this part is, or less than upper quartile is 75%. So, you can say, 50% of city A's temperature is more than 75% of city B's temperature. So, we are talking about the temperature less than upper quartile. So, we can say this also, that 50% uh, is more than 75% of city B. Okay, now what's the next, comp next statement that we can make? The next interesting thing is, city A has higher upper quartile. It has the upper quartile of city A is 24 and the upper quartile of city B is 22. So it has got higher upper quartile than higher maximum temperature. This is 28 and this 26. Uh, then city B's equivalent temperature. Okay, but of course, yeah, yeah, minimum temperature is less than, so we're not focusing on that. We're talking about uh, we are interested in whether this statement is right or wrong, that city A is hotter than city B. And that's why we are focusing on comparing with respect to this statement. Okay. So, that's very interesting. So, city B has higher temperature or maximum temperature and higher upper quartile. Okay. But, finally, you have to say very interesting thing. Uh, this is very crucial. I delete this. Okay, now if you look at, now this is called, the difference, if you look at the medians, the median of city B is 21 degrees and the median of city A is 22. So there is only one degree, the difference between the medians is only one degree. And the other interesting thing is city B, okay, or city B's box uh, is overlapped by city A or city, this is city A's box overlaps city B's box or the complete box of city B is overlapped by city A. That's a very important fact. Okay, uh, however, the difference, okay, I didn't write that. However, the difference between the median temperature of the two cities of not the two temperatures of the two cities is only one degree centigrade okay and the visible difference when comparing the box is seven degrees what does that mean if you compare only the box the visible difference between the boxes is only seven de seven degrees centigrade that is the difference between uh, 24 minus 17 is seven degrees and the difference between the median is only one degree centigrade. Okay, that's only minor difference. Okay, okay, and uh, it's only seven degrees centigrade. We can finally say I cannot make a call that city A is hotter than city B. Okay, because the crucial fact is the overlap. Okay, I didn't write. Uh, let me write that. Uh, you can see also make the statement that uh, uh, the box of city A, of city A overlaps, 
a box of CPP. Okay, so if you, when you consider this fact and this fact, we can say it's not possible to make a statement that city A is hotter than city B. So whenever you have a statement like this, whenever you're comparing, you don't necessarily want to make a statement it's hotter because the statistics is uh, the data that we have got is not sufficient enough to make the call. And also one more fact that you can see here is that you don't know how many cities, how many days the temperature was recorded. Okay, so we don't know the sample size. So we can also write we do do not do not know the sample size. We do not know the sample size. Okay, and that will also uh, that's also a reason that we cannot make a uh, judgment about whether city A is hotter than city B. Hopefully this video has been helpful. See you in the next video.